Looks like a truck. No things. What is below? Looks like he is staying on the five freeway. Just past the split here, southbound five. He could either stay on the five or get off on the 170. Next major, the 118 as he can freeway about 90 miles per hour. On those CHP units closing in ever so slightly right behind him, keeping up again despite the speeds, they have been on his tail ever since he entered LA County. So again, this was a Ventura County Sheriff's pursuit. We do not know what the original want was. that carpool lane that's going to commit him to the five freeway here not taking the 118 underneath the 118 as he goes under the interchange and coming up on Paxton Street At this point, there are no airships overhead. LAPD monitoring this pursuit, but no helicopters, uh, no law enforcement helicopters overhead here. Giving us a really close bird's eye view as we trail behind him at about just over the speed limit, maybe at 75 miles per hour, slowing up a little bit. Uh, still doing about 80, 80 plus, okay. Continuing number three lane, southbound five freeway. Copy. So new information coming into the newsroom. Apparently this was a hit and run suspect in the city of Fillmore, fled the scene of a crash, and Ventura County Sheriff began the pursuit. Suspect refused to pull over and still showing no signs of giving up. Has to make you wonder why he is so desperate to get away. Using those carpool lanes there, this could put him onto the 170. That one, that one carpool lane can go in either direction. And it looks like he's decided to jump back on the 5. So he's on the main lanes of the southbound 5 freeway. Heading towards Sun Valley. Traffic still very light on a Monday night. As far as I could see down the 5 freeway, very few cars in his way, not a lot of traffic out here in either direction, as a matter of fact. At times, the suspect has exceeded 100 miles per hour in that top-heavy pickup truck. Uh, again, he's slowing down just ever so slightly, still doing between 80 and 90 miles per hour.
Once again, southbound 5 freeway coming up on Penrose, well into Sun Valley now, heading towards Burbank, where traffic remains light. Southbound 5 freeway, still light traffic all the way through down towards Griffith Park. A few headlights in the opposite direction, but southbound is wide open as he continues at uh, 80 to 90 miles per hour at this rate. He's going to blow through a whole lot of fuel, and that is the hope of law enforcement at this point. Really no effort to intervene in any other way, especially as long as he's traveling relatively safely on the freeway, except for the fact that he does not have any headlights. He is blacked out. Fortunately, those lights and sirens are able to alert motorists behind him that there is activity coming their way, but still, when you look in your rearview mirror, you're very, very hard pressed to find uh, somebody coming up at these speeds behind you with their lights off. So still a very dangerous situation and still pretty erratic driving, but without a whole lot of traffic, they should be able to exhaust several more gallons of fuel here until he uh, has some more decisions to make. He can take this down to the East LA interchange into downtown. He may be able to get off at the 101 freeway if he decides to jump off sooner. But uh, assuming he's not familiar with these streets, considering this came from Ventura County, he will likely stay on the freeway as he has so far. So continuing southbound 5 freeway coming up on Buena Vista. And there is LAPD's night sun. LAPD, right, Maury? LAPD's helicopter, right? That's LAPD airship overhead, able to assist those CHP units. Somebody's being pulled over down there. One of those pursuit vehicles breaking off and pulling somebody over down there in any event. Several more, at least five that I count, right behind him. Some gestures coming from that passenger window. Coming very close to another car there. And that number one, number two, maybe three lane, number three lane. Speeds up to 90 miles per hour. Just passing Burbank Airport, you see the night sun from LAPD's airship. That's a huge relief because that's another indicator to motorists down there that there is police activity in the vicinity. Perhaps gives them a heads up to not be so surprised when this truck comes zooming right past them there with its headlights off. So several units continuing the pursuit here. You see CHP covering a number of different lanes. Interestingly, Despite the fact that they have a handful of units down there, not seeing any real effort to create a traffic break, which you might expect in a situation like this. Wouldn't be a bad idea to prevent further traffic from passing the pursuit. And if there are units available up ahead, you'd often see some of those entrance ramps blocked off, like I see coming up here. I think the next one is going to be, uh, might be Alameda. And it does look like there's a CHP unit preventing traffic from getting onto the freeway up there. So they will leapfrog the pursuit as they are able to, preventing more traffic from getting onto the freeway. So far, though, no sign of a traffic break. You see them continuing to fly past whatever little traffic there is there. There's that black and white blocking the entrance ramp now, merging onto the freeway, joining the pursuit. And that LAPD unit right over him with that night sun. Once again, if you're just joining us, Chris Christie up in Air 7 HD as we follow this pursuit down the 5 freeway. Coming up on the 134, 
He's going to be passing the LA Zoo here in just a moment. If he continues, as it looks like he will be committed to the five freeway. This is a hit and run suspect who fled the scene of a crash in Fillmore up in Ventura County. Ventura County Sheriff's chasing the suspect at triple digit speeds down the 126 into Santa Clarita where CHP has picked up the pursuit and covering quite a bit of real estate in a short amount of time as he continues towards the Glendale area. We're gonna, ooh, close call there. That driver just transitioning there, didn't see him coming from the uh, other side there and he came very close for at least the second time, coming close to some of these other cars and there's not many cars but he is driving pretty erratically and coming close to some of these cars and he's not seeing them or whatever else might be going on there. Just a moment ago we saw some hand gestures coming out of the passenger seat. California Highway Patrol's East LA Division getting ready to take over the pursuit as he continues down the five freeway here. Coming up on Silver Lake. Once again, it's really kind of a best case scenario, especially for a reckless driver who has already crashed into one car and has come close to hitting others. Uh, as long as it's on the freeway, that's where law, law enforcement would much prefer it stays, especially at these speeds. Now you see there are a few other cars out here, but as I mentioned, he's got lots of pavement to play with here and uh, it'll give him plenty of opportunity, especially at 90 plus miles per hour to burn lots of fuel uh, before he ultimately runs out of gas or maybe gets off the freeway and attempts to ditch the vehicle or just gives up peacefully. We don't exactly know why he's so desperate to get away. He was involved in a misdemeanor hit and run crash in Fillmore, but uh, has since refused to pull over. And at these speeds, with the headlights off, somebody could very well get hurt. We don't want to see that, but on the highway, it is much less likely as opposed to if he was to get off on surface streets and start amping things up. That would be a much different situation where other tactics would come into play for now. It's a race down the five freeway. Passing the 110 freeway, staying on the 5, just past Elysian Park, and it looks like a last-minute effort to stay on the 5 there. Another opportunity to get off, but is staying on the 5. Not sure if he was trying to pull a fast one there or if it was just a game-time decision, but he uh, ran right over the gore point there and is now continuing southbound 5 still into East L.A. Boyle Heights off the nose. LAPD with their airship 
overhead, but CHP still applying a lot of pressure, uh, not giving this guy too much distance between them. You can still see the tint of those red and blue lights right behind them. Maybe about 50 feet back is that primary unit. You've got a secondary unit behind him. all over the paint here looking for a gap anytime he does come up on any kind of traffic even using the shoulder at times to bypass some of these cars and trucks now in the East LA interchange where he will have some more options to, to play with or he can uh, take this to the 10 freeway. He could go to take the 10 west. Could take the 60 east. Could get off in the Arts District. Has lots of options here. So we'll see as he kind of straddles that two and three lane, looks like he might be jumping on the 10 freeway, looks like the 10, no, another last minute, a last minute push to the left, and that'll put him on the eastbound 60 freeway, I know, check that, I think he's committing to the five. Yeah, he's back on the five, southbound five freeway, right? Well, as you can see here, noticeably more traffic now that he's made his way past downtown LA. A few more cars on the five freeway still continuing, ex continuing at uh, a very fast clip here, 80 to 90 miles per hour past all of this traffic on a Monday night where it's a little bit heavier here in the last five miles and he is sure enough able to keep these speeds, but it becomes more dangerous as CHP continues to apply that pressure he's only a few car lengths behind him next interchange is going to be the 710 freeway we could maybe see him getting off at the 710 or at this rate as long as he stays over to the left we'll keep him on the five but he has been already known now to establish a pattern of weaving across those gore points at the last minute. So still southbound five, CHP falling back slightly. Once again, at least two people inside this work truck. It appears to be a Nissan pickup truck with a shell 
over that uh, the bed of that pickup truck and you can see weaving once again across all of those lanes back in the number one lane with LAPD's night sun over him he's got his headlights and taillights blacked out CHP falling back just slightly as their Santa Fe Springs division has now taken over the pursuit they've done the swap and we'll see if they close in on him a little more here but he's now just weaving through traffic here as he encounters a handful of cars and trucks ahead of him here a little bit heavier as he makes his way further south, but still very navigable and lots of room to play with, lots of opportunity to burn up more fuel before this comes to an end. So getting off maybe, nope. Passing Washington. Thank you, appreciate that. Great. CHP closing in on him again. Look at that, just right behind him. Still doing about 90 miles per hour, passing all of this other traffic. LAPD overhead and a California Highway Patrol helicopter coming in from the south. Maybe we'll relieve LAPD or let LAPD continue until they're out of fuel. We'll see what they do here. But in the meantime, you've got at least five units, five California Highway Patrol units in the pursuit. Are all five still back there, Josh? Another entrance ramp blocked there. Five units in the pursuit. And we're still seeing occasional entrance ramp closures. Now, uh, do they, have they just created a little bit of a traffic break behind them? Not really, huh? Well, a little bit, yeah, kind of. Once again, this is a hit and run suspect who has refused to pull over after a crash in Ventura County, has come very close to some of these other cars on the five freeway tonight, but Refusing to pull over, this uh, was picked up by California Highway Patrol, handed off from Ventura County Sheriff's Department in Santa Clarita, and he has now made his way all the way down here. Coming up on Downey now, his next interchange is going to be the 605 freeway off the nose. Back over to the number one lane, committing to the five freeway for now and still doing about what, 85 miles per hour there, Josh? Eighty-five, Five freeway opening up a little bit here. Very little traffic now. The further south we get from downtown. Slowly making his way over to the right. All over the road.
coming up on Rosecrans into the Norwalk area, continuing southbound 5 freeway. CHP in pursuit of a hit and run driver with possible reason to believe that this may or may not be his vehicle. So we might be dealing with a grand theft auto suspect as well. Again, this started with a hit and run witnessed by law enforcement up in Ventura County in the city of Fillmore. Driver fled the scene and now some information that he may have stolen this vehicle or at least it may not belong to him. Very good. Into the fast lane now, you see several units still behind him here. Not more than six car lengths behind him. This has been the case for the duration of this pursuit. Uh, not giving him a lot of room or space between that lead unit and that suspect. He's not driving incredibly erratically, but a little recklessly at the very least, especially with his headlights and taillights off and the way he's just whipping across these lanes without any signaling, obviously. Now back in that HOV lane. 90 miles per hour as he is zooming past the few cars that are on the 5 freeway this evening. Just passing Valley View Avenue, staying on the five. And getting into the Buena Park area, which will put him in Orange County. Uh, this will be another opportunity for CHP to hand this off to their Anaheim office, Santa Ana, I should say. Yeah, there come the headlights. Headlights now turned on. Tired of driving with his lights off. Looks like only that left headlight appears to be operating. Or are they, are they both on? Can't tell. Might have some damage there on that left tire. That front left bumper is not in great shape. That may be... Uh, Maybe where he collided back in Ventura County. In any event, now into Orange County we go. Coming up, coming up on the uh, temporary flight restriction over Disneyland. We will be gaining some altitude here as we transition through Anaheim. Continuing southbound 5 freeway with no real indication that he's going to get off here. But there are additional... Santa Ana CHP units off the nose here. And it looks like they're preparing for that tr that uh, handoff. Another entrance ramp shut down there, and effectively they have created a little bit of a traffic break behind him. So they will pass additional traffic in front, but the traffic behind will be staying behind those law enforcement units, giving law enforcement a wide berth to manage this pursuit. Approaching the 91 interchange, Back over to the left. He did turn his lights on, and I just, when we get a chance here, Josh, I just want to see if we can confirm, is that CHP right behind him? That SUV right there, 
may be a different agency. I can't quite tell. Okay. Do you recognize that that paint job? I can't. I'm trying to make it out. It looks like. Okay. So, uh, interestingly enough, it looks like another vehicle has joined this pursuit, which is uh, highly unorthodox for CHP to allow anybody else to get involved unless it's officially being handed off. But I do not recognize that white SUV behind the suspect. Uh, CHP is giving him a little room to play with here, but you see the lights and sirens on that vehicle. It does not appear to be a marked vehicle by my, in fact, are those civilian play? I cannot tell. I, it's, okay. So it might be an, yeah, yeah, it's an exempt play. It might be undercover, it might be another agency from Orange County. We'll see if we can get a better look here. Okay. Well, there you go. So that uh, looks like a, a uh, looks like it might be some sort of a CHP vehicle. Can't tell in any event. He has joined the pursuit now that we're in Orange County. A total of one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five units still in pursuit here. Once again, we're making our way through Anaheim where this hit and run driver is still refusing to pull over and stubbornly staying on that five freeway after a high speed chase through Ventura County. And now in just about a half hour, we've made our way from Magic Mountain all the way to Disneyland. Into the carpool lanes now, continuing on the five freeway. No, I'm sorry, he got off. He's getting off. That was an exit ramp. That was a, uh, a center lane exit ramp onto Gene Autry Way. Now making a left turn. He's going to be going east on Gene Autry. Gotta wonder why he chose that particular exit ramp. This is going to dead end at Angel Stadium. And he's still traveling pretty fast through the intersection here and he's going into the stadium. Going into the stadium, bottoming out as he makes his way through the ticket booths at Angel Stadium. Check this guy out. Unbelievable, now very dark in that parking lot. Fortunately, he's got his headlights on, but you saw he bottomed out there, sparks flying as he fled through the ticket booth and he is now well into the parking lot about to go around Angel Stadium. Coming around home plate, here he comes. Continuing south, southbound through the parking lot. And what are we gonna do here? Some donuts in the parking lot? Oh.
This just got mighty strange. Visiting all of Southern California's landmark attractions this evening as he now does circles in the parking lot of Angel Stadium. Looking for an exit, and that appears to be what he may have found there. I think that's going to take him back on to, back on to, is that, it's going to put him on a State College Boulevard, I think, right? No, this is the same way he came in? No, it is. It is the same, right? Same same gate, another, another dip in the road there. And now back on Gene Autry Park, or Gene Autry Way, rather. Gene, Gene Autry Way back towards the 5 Freeway. Now heading away from Angel Stadium. Copy that, thank you. He's now looking at crossing over. He's crossing over the five freeway. If he continues. Gosh, if he continues, he may very well end up in uh, Disneyland. This is gonna dead end in the Disneyland parking lot. He's got an option here. He could take this north or south or turn around. He's actually turning around on Gene Autry Way. He is really toying with the California Highway Patrol. It has become a game of cat and mouse down here in Orange County, a driver and a passenger in that white work truck. We believe it may be stolen. And he is now going east and west, circling around Gene Autry Way and the 5 Freeway. You're fine, you're fine, you're good. And he missed the opportunity to get off onto the five freeway. And something tells me we may end up back at the ballpark. Let's see what happens here. Continuing westbound Gene Autry at a high rate of speed. Now throw up that real time speed tracker as he's doing about double the speed limit here. About 60 miles per hour down Gene Autry slowing down now at the intersection making uh, another U-turn, another U-turn. Now heading back towards the five freeway. Well, they could play this game all night too, as long as there's nobody in the way. That's the important thing, nobody to get hurt. But uh, obviously while we play these games, he is exhausting a lot of gas. And uh, you can only hope that he starts to run low here in the near future. Uh-oh. Getting onto the freeway. All right, northbound five freeway, folks. Back now. Uh, heading back in through Anaheim. We'll see what uh, what he decides to do if he stays on the freeway again or if he jumps off, but. We can very well take this all the way back to Ventura County for uh, for all I could guess. I mean, he really is no shine, showing no signs of predictability here, not establishing any kind of uh, a destination, and he is still all over the paint. Look, I'm just weaving across, no signaling. At least he's got his headlights and taillights on, though. Northbound 5 freeway through Anaheim and check out that front, the front left corner of that bumper 
flapping in the wind there, definitely damaged at some point tonight. And now his lights are back off. At least the headlights have now been turned off again. Again, much of this pursuit was in the dark as he was blacked out. And now, once again, he has turned those headlights off. Five units right behind him, coming up on Euclid. Well, this could be tricky, but we may even see a spike strip attempt on the freeway if he continues to just uh, cruise up the five here. They have plenty of units available. It would be a challenge to be sure, but it's an option if they could find an open stretch of freeway uh, and place themselves ahead of that pickup truck. Okay, look at this. He's pulling over to the right as he approaches the 91 freeway. Something tells me he may be looking to get off the five. I'm not sure, but something, yeah, look at this. I think this is gonna get him off at the 91. No, another, another fake out. He is doing this on purpose. These are intentional last minute maneuvers as he approaches these exit ramps, immediately swerving over the gore point thinking somehow that he's going to lose those patrol cars behind him. The California Highway Patrol is a little too smart for that. And as you can see, they are actually covering several lanes behind him. Through the 91, now northbound under the 91 and committed to the 5 freeway. Northbound 5 freeway in through Santa Ana. Coming up on... Uh, I think that next exit's gonna be uh, Beach Boulevard. Still over to the left though, he's still on the five. And he is really stepping on it. It looks like he's pushing about 100 miles per hour as he approaches Valley View. CHP still keeping up with him here, still northbound 5 freeway. Heading into LA County. CHP has handed this off once again to those LA units. But he is going uh, a degree faster here as he continues northbound. Again, there's a driver and a passenger inside the cab of that 
what appears to be a Nissan work truck. All of this starting about an hour ago in Ventura County, coming out of Fillmore. A hit and run suspect crashing and refusing to pull over and indications that this may not belong to him. So this is a possible stolen vehicle. And it still appears that CHP is at least thinking about opportunities for a potential spike strip, maybe if he gets off the freeway or is able to uh, get into a more convenient area. But right now, as he makes his way back up towards LA, he's going to start encountering a little more traffic once again. Still easily doing 100 miles per hour, passing Rosecrans, coming up through Norwalk. Still doing about 100 miles per hour through this traffic here, uh, approaching the 605 freeway. CHP doing a remarkable job of kind of uh, not only keeping up with him uh, from a safe distance, but even kind of positioning themselves to maintain something of a traffic break to prevent traffic from coming up behind them. You still see a few cars and trucks in front as they speed past them. But uh, as he approaches Flor uh, Florence, he really, look at them, he goes in the opposite direction of that black and white. So that black and white made his way all the way over to the fast lane, and then this driver was maybe looking to fake him out again by trying to get off at Lakewood Boulevard. No dice back over the Gore Point. Continuing northbound, he's got that primary unit one lane over, and now he's pulling right into that fast lane to get around uh, a few more cars ahead of him here. May not look like he's going very fast, but he is doing about a buck five, 105 miles per hour as clocked by CHP. And you can see that just about matches up with what we're seeing up here, give or take a few miles. And he is weaving all over the paint here tonight, northbound 5 freeway, back into L.A. And we'll see if he uh, intends on taking us home to Ventura County. We'll see, but certainly anybody's guess. that uh, motorist there very just within inches of that car and now passing another CHP unit getting a little more aggressive maintaining a speed continuing northbound 5 freeway
back into East LA, coming up through the City of Commerce. More CHP units ahead of them. CHP's uh, Southern Division taking over. And the speed continuing at 100 plus miles per hour. see if he shows any sign of getting off at the 710 freeway but for right now he appears to be staying on the five they are ready for him if he does decide to get off there he's just past Wa just past Washington coming up on Atlantic and then the 710 so he's got options but so far staying on the five comes a 710. He is using all five lanes of the five freeway. Zigzag, literally zigzagging left and right, weaving through any car in his way here, coming close to some of them and continuing to accelerate at speeds upwards of 100 miles per hour. And now he's got a wide open berth underneath the 710 freeway. Certainly appears he's gonna take us back into the East LA interchange. There are units on the freeway. There are units off of the freeway. That LAPD helicopter is pulled off. Is that right, Moore? Yeah, that LAPD helicopter has headed back for fuel. And now there are no helicopters overhead. So it's up to those ground units. It's up to those ground units to stay behind them as a CHP fixed wing airplane gets into position and starts to surveil the suspect from a couple thousand feet up. All right, we're in the East LA interchange. You can see he's staying on the five freeway. More choices to make make here. Uh, getting off, getting off the five, getting off the five. That's gonna be seventh street. Is he losing control or, or he just hit, all right, he hit the guardrail there or the, the curb, took that transition road a little bit too fast and is continuing now. This is gonna be, I just wanna confirm, this is gonna be 7th Street. 7th Street's gonna go over the LA River and into downtown LA. So as he makes his way towards the fashion district, he is now on surface streets for the first time during this pursuit, or at least for the first time since we have joined this pursuit. Uh, he is now, again, on surface streets. Let's see how his driving changes here. He's coming to a stop, coming to a stop, hands out both windows, the driver's side and passenger side. 
passenger side door opening up. The passenger stepping out of the vehicle with his hands up in the air. The driver in the vehicle showing signs of surrender. Officers out with their guns drawn about to execute a felony stop here. Just shy of the 7th Street Bridge here over the LA River. Suspect coming to an unexpected and sudden stop right at the bridge. And that passenger now walking backwards towards those officers, revealing his waistband, complying and following each and every command. Now a total of seven CHP units surrounding this intersection. Passenger being taken into custody. And now we will wait for the driver to comply with those orders and here he comes. Driver's side door is open. Driver stepping out of the vehicle with his left hand visible. All right. Throwing the keys out of the vehicle and he is now stepping away from the truck. Well, either he uh, started running on fumes or well, for whatever reason, just decided to give it up. Well aware of how this was going to end, at least he was, most likely. And now he is giving up peacefully as CHP takes that driver into custody. And it looks like uh, another one will end without anybody getting hurt. But a, a, a bizarre pursuit taking us from Ventura County through Santa Clarita, through the San Fernando Valley, through LA, through the city of LA twice, all the way down to Orange County. Took a spin by Disneyland, some donuts in the Angel Stadium parking lot just for safekeeping, and now this pursuit is over. Okay. Another person stepping out of the